Rocks. You may have heard of them. They make up a lot of the geo in geology. They're hard, solid, and always interesting. Fractional crystallization is a phenomenon that demonstrates the different crystallization conditions of species of rock, more specifically, igneous minerals. This differential crystallization is driven by solubility and thermodynamic conditions. The magma compositions are mutually insoluble, and given the right conditions, will settle out as discrete crystals. But that's not all. Bowen's reaction series makes this process a little more complex. It's split into two series, continuous and discontinuous. Both are based on the steps and reactions that magma takes as it cools under equilibrium. In the continuous path is plagioclase feldspar, which first crystallizes out with a calcium-rich composition at higher temperatures, around 1300 C. This mineral then continues to react with sodium as it cools, provided there is enough in the surrounding magma. This sodium takes the place of the calcium in the mineral's lattice until it is overall sodium-rich, from anorthite to albite. The discontinuous path has more moving parts. The first species to crystallize out is olivine, at around 1300 C. You could stop here. If you were to quench this magma, olivine would be the predominant mineral. But we can go further. Say we keep cooling these olivine crystals. Eventually, they would react with the silica in the surrounding magma to form the pyroxene group, the next stop of the discontinuous branch. So long as there is silica in the magma solution to react with the newly formed crystals and cooling is slow, the path can continue. The next stop is amphibole and then biotite, each having an increasing amount of silica in its crystalline lattice. Past biotite and albite, the reactions could evolve from the continuous path to potassium feldspar, and from the discontinuous path to muscovite, and finally, from either of those to quartz. Bowen's reaction series allows us to understand the evolution of igneous rocks. It also allows us to understand some of the more fascinating rock phenomena, like xenoliths, where minerals at different stages of evolution come together and react or crystal zoning, where non-equilibrium cooling in the continuous branch creates a gradient from a calcium-rich plagioclase core to a sodium-rich shell. <laughs>